Hello my friend, it's Pat here, Pat Sloan for my daily video and this is Thursday and I have a little surprise because there's a project that we were going to do uh, in November with the Fat Quarter Shop and the fabric that they had used for theirs didn't come in and didn't come in and didn't come in. <laughs> so <laughs> today we're ready. Uh, I'm going to show you mine. You can link over to the free pattern and then you can go out and look at the hashtags later and look at uh, Fat Quarter Shop's page uh, to see other variations. I don't even know who else was doing this. I've forgotten who they were. <laughs> it's like, ah, finally we get to do this one. So it's called Blazing Stars and there is a, a pattern and uh, it is so cute, all made up into multiples. I loved being able to play with this background fabric. Look at this. This is this textured cross weave. And the cross weave comes in a lot of different colors. You've seen me use it a lot with that sort of black gray. And I had it with the uh, most recently showed you with my English paper piecing, the hexagon flowers. That background was the same fabric. And the different colors come and go, but there's some base ones. Uh, there's a green that's really interesting sometimes. I don't know if they have that right now. But I did mine in fall colors because <laughs> we were supposed to do this in November. So. <laughs> so I'm sure that you might see some other fall colors for the other people's projects too. Um, I used it as a table mat, but it gives you an idea of what a full quilt would look like. You know, should just put this in repeat and you could have an, a really cozy quilt. It's very fun because every other block is super simple. So this pinwheel is very simple. And then this block, the, the star block is not complex. It just has more parts to it. So if you were making a bigger quilt out of this, you know, you would be making, you know, only to fill, fill the whole quilt up, you'd only have half of these. And do you see how everything floats? So I use the background and uh, the blocks are, you know, the background's the same for both. And I, I wanted the images to just to float so that they're not having any sort of outline around them. Then the blocks are set side by side. So this is Blazing Star. Yay! <laughs> At the end, I'm going to tell you our topic for the day, which on our, I'll talk about the topic for the day, which on our calendar is a free for all. <laughs> so wait till the end, wait till the end. Uh, so I've got jelly roll blocks today and I'm super excited. I'm working with my Morrison Park fabric and I decided to do a pink and a green. Like wouldn't this whole quilt be cute in just pink and greens. Take all the pinks and greens from my line and that would be so springy. That's the neat thing about this fabric line is that you can combine, like if I combine this with the reds, like we did for the glow of friendship block of Jane's on the mock-up, that looked Christmassy. This looks springy when you put it just with pink. Uh, you know, so it's a really been fun to break down and use these uh, in a limited color palettes and seeing how they work together. Now the Jelly Roll Ripple quilt that I'm doing will have all of the blocks, but I might do some mock-ups and like pull a color out and show you. We'll see when I get there and get them up on the wall. I'm going to do that soon. Put them up on the wall. <laughs> so free for all, free for all. I've got um, on my wall, I'm not talking about the topic quite yet, not quite yet, so you have to wait. But up on my wall, I got out my uh, dormant <laughs> project, the, um, the Eiffel Tower that I'm free motion quilting. So right now I've got, let me just pull this up a bit. I have just from here, here up to here. That's it. I've already done the border. Uh, I've done the Eiffel Tower because I did that first. So I just have this section. Now I did a little bit, I did right in here, where you see where my hand is, I did this piece uh, the other night. And so now I have to do a bit more in here around, some of these flowers are done, but I have to do a bit more around them. And I'm using white uh, and I'm following, there's sort of like an etching on the background. I don't know that, you'll, you'd have a hard time finding that panel now. All of you bought all the places I work with that have that panel. If I, if I do see it somewhere else, I'll link it up, but um, it's called, Painted, Painted Paris, I think is the name of the fabric line. Uh, and the, it's just really pretty. The border was something I had in my collection for years and years and years. And so that, um, 
that would just happen to go with it. And then I have, uh, I'll, when it's done, I'll show you the backing then, because I actually did find a place, if it's still there, that has the backing that I used. All right, now I had questions on how do I tie my scarves. I just thought this would be a fun day to show you. What I'm gonna do is pop in, because I don't can't have the mic on, uh, I'm gonna have to lay the mic down, and I'll do a little video and pop it in here to show you the, um, the way I put these scarves on and off. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. So I'm gonna talk about the scarves. I put my mic over on my shoulder, so hopefully I'm not going to mess it up. The first scarf I have on is actually a long single strand. It is not looped over. It's not what's called an infinity scarf. So this is a regular scarf, one long strand. And you know, you're gonna find scarves like this in many different lengths. And so generally I wear them all the same way is I will put it around my neck and then I will do another loop. So basically I have one loop and the tails. So there they are. And then what I do is I take a loop inside and I take the other loop inside like this. And that, depending on how big the scarf is, how thick it is, the, how much material is there, that's the width of it. Um, I will maybe put it up on the side a little bit, but generally I just wear it down. And then the amount of tails is really goes a long way, you know, goes a lot with how long it is. So for this one, you can see that it is fairly wide because I could actually wear that as a shawl even, you know, like, like that kind of a thing if I wanted to. So that is the one, that's a lot of scarves are like that. You're going to find a lot of them that are a single long piece uh, and they're, is, they're not a loop. But I have two others I wanna show you. I'll show you the loop. So it's basically the loop. I'm gonna show you two different loop ones. These are called infinity scarves. And infinity scarves are a circle and you basically have a seam, you know? So you're making, making them into one circle, like a necklace you know, without a clasp. So I'm gonna put that around. These are the simplest. You see me wear a red one a lot like this. I just put them twice and that's it. And the, the thicker they are, they're going to bulk up. Um, the softer they are, they're just going to sort of drape down. So that's how an infinity scarf works. And then I wanna show you the infinity scarf I did with the cuddle fabric. This is the one that the Fat Quarter Shop, uh, Kimberly was showing them on her video a while back. Uh, and this one that you make it, you have sort of a little, can you see that? This sort of like a cross over there. When you're making it, you twist it once before you sew that seam. And the seam is here somewhere, but because there it is, because these are so cozy, they just um, pull in. Now this one is too short to wrap around my neck twice. So this just goes over once and there we go. And so the fold helps it, the twist before you put it together helps it lay nice. Link down below to the tutorial on how to make this. And if you buy the cuddle fabric um, <clears throat> by Shannon Fabrics, if you buy a yard, <clears throat> their pattern says it'll make three this size. So the, you know these are just a single one. Um, you, you can't you can't double it up, but you could always pin it if you wanted. You could do some sort of pin if you wanted it tighter. But generally, this is made to just lay like this. So these are how I wear scarves. So do you wear scarves? Tell me if you wear scarves because I would love to know what you do and how you interact with your scarves. Um, do you have a lot of fun with them? Uh, do you make them? Uh, I have made a couple. Uh, generally, the scarves are drapey material. They're soft material. They're not um, cotton, you know, quilter's cotton. But I have made the infinity scarves in quilter's cotton, and I've made them with a little pom-pom edge. I have one like that. Uh, so they're, you know, pretty, pretty easy to do, but I prefer them softer and drapier than quilting cotton is. All right, so before we do the topic of the day, which I'm still getting to, um, I have to tell you I had a massive cake fail. <laughs> And, and, and part of the cake was okay. So what I decided to do when I made that cake was I was gonna use one round pan and then use the rest of it in cupcakes. But because I have not made a cake in so long, I uh, misjudged <laughs> how much cake went in the round pan. So I'm gonna pop some photos down here, whichever side it's on, and 
<laughs> you can see uh, the cupcakes turned out glorious. They were wonderful. The icing was super yummy. The uh, browned pan, it rose up and then it like, it was still jiggly and all of a sudden it sunk. <laughs> so I knew that it was not coming back after it sunk. So we ate a little bit around the edge, but you know, it's like, that's the way it goes. <laughs> cake fail, cake fail. That's like, how, how does that happen? Uh, I don't know. I had too much in it. I'm sure that's what it was. It just, uh, oh well. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about the free for all. I, I left free for all on the calendar there because I wanted to see what exactly was I thinking about today when I filmed this. And what I'm thinking about today is uh, making things cozy and, and, and interesting and getting through the next few months. <laughs> That's what I've been thinking a lot about the, the, you know, recently because with the pandemic still going massively out of control <laughs> that's like you know it's be safe everybody be safe um you know i'm going to be at home a lot and so what can i do here to make things interesting what can i do to make my environment cozy and it's all about the huga uh, and ingrid i'm trying to say it properly ingrid is uh, one of our danish friends and she is on the live in the morning sometimes which is around noon her time and so i looked up a bunch of videos again on huga and so I'm not Danish, so I can't sort of get that, that guttural sound. <laughs> huga, huga, uh, I'm trying there. But huga, uh, and if I'm still saying it wrong, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. But I did a couple, I went and linked you down below to a couple videos. One is by uh, the man who works, Mike, who works for the Happiness Project and wrote like the original book. Um, I found just the regular pronunciation in the, with the Danish uh, accents. And then I found a lovely lady who is a, a model and an actress uh, who is Danish and she works a lot in Korea but she filmed in Copenhagen a really nice sequence explaining what it is to her and her friends and then if you watch her channel you'll see I mean she is a a fashion youtuber um, because she's a, an actress uh, and a model she's most and does a lot of modeling but uh, it's it was really neat I found that segment from her and it was really lovely to watch and uh, they did a really nice job so all those are linked below so today your topic is Find, be sure that you have a plan for the next few months when it's winter and you're not going out as much and you're not seeing people and you're not doing the things you would like to be doing and haven't done for many, many months, just like me. Um, find what is going to be comfortable in your environment and make sure that everything there works for you. If you need to get something, get it. If you need to move things around, move them around. Make sure you have that cozy spot. Make sure you have the types of things you, you need, your supplies, just your mental health. Um, so today's free for all is for you to think about that and look around and just take some time today to be sure that you're on the right path for the next few months to stay mentally healthy. All right, my friend, <laughs> links are down below. Go over to the website and you can download the Blazing Star I always want to say Blazing Saddles, and if you know that movie, <laughs> I start to laugh as soon as I say it. I may have to go watch that one. I love you. I will see you online.